a lossless microstrip transmission line is terminated by a z-load equal 15 plus j 10 ohm. We want to find the reflection coefficient PSWR and y-load. Given characteristic impedance equal 50, we can find the normalized impedance by dividing it. So small zl equal 0.3 plus j 0.2 ohm. Moving to Kitab, we can locate our point from the intersection of the real axis and imaginary axis. Here is our point. Our next step is to draw gamma circle by using compass from tools option by putting the legs of the compass on the origin and CL point. Then easily we can draw our wanted circle. Here no color, no filling and this is our circle. Now we want to draw a line along all the chart which intersects the load impedance and center. Here is the ruler. We must make sure it passes all the points. Like this. Yes. Let's change the color and draw the line. Remove the ruler. Let's label Z load by using text option from Kitab. Here is Z load. And we can see Y load in the opposite side of Z load. Label it YL. Now we are going to find the reflection coefficient. That is simply by measuring the distance between the impedance and the center. we get 4.3 then taking the same distance on reflection coefficient scale like this using the pen we can mark this point remove the ruler we can note that reflection coefficient magnitude equal 0.54 we can find the angle of reflection coefficient from the angle circle. So, the reflection coefficient equal 0.54 and the angle 155. Now, we want to find the voltage standing wave ratio from the intersection of gamma circle and the real axis. We can find it 3.4 label it So we get VSWR equal 3.4. Moving to Y load, we can see the magnitude and the imaginary part of it. So we get Y load equal 2.3 minus Z 1.55. The other part of our question is to find Z input if the line length equal 0.2 lambda. We add 0.2 lambda to the position of Z load. So we get 0.235. Locating the point and draw a line from the center. Our line remove ruler the intersection of the line and gamma circle gives us the input impedance so this is our input impedance which is equal to 3.2 plus j 0.95 ohm by multiplying it with characteristic impedance we get 160 plus j 47.5 ohm our last part of our question is to find the length and the position of a short shunt network used for matching the source to the load.
choosing yellow. Here is the unity circle. The first step is to locate the intersection of unity circle and gamma circle. Let's label it as a p-point. On the other side of the chart, locate the opposite imaginary part of P point, moving to minus 1.3. We get 0.355 lambda. By subtract 0.25 lambda, we get the length. Now we are going to draw a line from the center to P point. Choosing different color and draw the line. Remove the ruler. From the wavelength circle, you can find the difference between YL position and P point position. So we subtract 0.284 from 0.5, then add 0.171. So the length of the short chunk network equal to 0.105 lambda and the distance equal to 0.387 lambda. Thank you.